we're going to practice lattice multiplication. You're going to thank me for life after this. So let's give it a shot. So this is a traditional way of doing 25 times 13. Five threes are 15. Two threes are six, so it's seven. Put the zero. One times five is five. One times two is two. Adding together, you're going to have 325. Now, there are a lot of things you have to remember when you do this. However, lattice is quite simple and quite interesting. So, I would like you to get a piece of paper and a pencil. If you have a grid paper, like a maths grid paper, hopefully a centimetre um, squares um, grid paper, that is going to be very handy. So I'm going to give you a bit of time. I'm going to pause the video. You pause the video. And can you find a piece of paper? So this is how you set up lattice. Ready? 25 multiplied by 13. So we go side, multiply, and go down. Now I'm going to make a lattice, it's a grid, right? Then something important is you're going to draw a diagonal line from the multiplication sign. It just takes a bit of time to remember this. Once you're used to it, it's going to be a lot easier. So, what you do is, we do five times one in this box. Five times one is five. So instead of writing five, we'll write zero, five. Five times three is 15. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. What you have to do is, using these diagonal lines, and we're going to add these numbers. This is only five. Five plus six plus one. So six plus one plus five is 12. One goes to the next column. One plus two is three. That's zero. So answer is 325. Shall we try a different one? Oh, how about, can you give it a shot? Try 25 times 13 by yourself. Let's pause the video. I'm going to try 24 times 36. I'll give you a tip. Try to write, you need big numbers. It's a lot easier. And now we're going to draw a diagonal line. Let's try four times three is 12. Four times six is 24, 2 times 3 is 6, we'll put 0, 6, 2 times 6 is 12. We're going to add the number underneath these diagonal lines, or between diagonal lines, 4, because there's only 4 there. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8, answer is 864. Would you like to give it a shot? It's 8.64. Let's try by yourself. 24 times 36. Let's pause the video. Let's try it. So how does this work? Um, let's try with 24 times 3. I know we did this before so let's try 25 times 3 we've done 25 times 3 before it's exactly the same as 3 times 25 25 25 25 3 lots of 20 3 lots of 20 is 60 3 lots of 5 is 15 so answer is 75. Do you remember that? Let's see what's happening here. So 
3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 2 is 6. Can you see what's happening? Can you see the similarity between these two? Let's pause the video. Can you write your thinking? You can say your thinking or you can think what's happening here. So, here's 15. When we do this, when we add these two numbers, we align five and zero, six and one. This diagonal line gives you the new alignment, six and one, and a five there. So we're doing the same thing. But somebody who's very clever decided to draw these two diagonal lines to make everything quite simple. If you mastered lattice, You can do three times three, I mean three digit by three digit. Ooh. We'd like to give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I start the first bit for you. Let's pause the video and let, let's try this. Well, I just populated the inside of lattice. Let's see what you what answer you got. You can just calculate and find it. It's not a big deal. Now, last thinking is lattice useful? Do you think, what is good about lattice? What's bad about lattice? Can you think and can you write down or you can say or you can just think about it while you pause the video? Let's pause the video. We have done a lot of different ways of multiplication, but practice lattice because this is going to be quite handy. And practice the traditional way Possibly that's a better way of communicating with other people. Or most impo importantly, you need to know what multiplication really means. That is going to help you. Even if you forget these, you can find the answer. So that is a very important part. So, I'll see you soon.